is in a constant inflammatory condition, which keeps the immune system on a 24-7 operation trying to impact this circulatory sludge, which according to John Gaynor, published in Science News in, 2000, in uh, 1972, showed that this sludge of circulatory and completely metabolized protein is creating a radical drop in the oxygen levels of the bloodstream, diminishing it by as much as 60%, according to the published research. Well, you could not live under those kind of conditions. Now, in the final summary, they state probably all degenerative diseases, and they listed from Alzheimer's disease, the asthma, the emphysema, to cancer, cardiovascular diseases, are caused by these twisted proteins. And they did not know the origin. I mean, how stupid. But yet, that's what was being expressed. I have in my book, Survival, in the 21st century, over 35 years ago, talked about disorganized protein from medical research, nutritional studies, how up to 85% of the protein gets disorganized and is not bioavailable for your body. That's why people are consuming such high volumes of food in order to meet up their amino acid needs, not protein needs, amino acid needs. That means pre-digested protein. That's protein in a form that is bioavailable, bioactive, and is utilizable by your body. Now, with the sludge and the reduced oxygen, the body has all kind of adaptive mechanisms. A very famous, twice awarded Nobel recipient, Alexis Correll, in his book, Man the Unknown, states that the human organisms under stress <laughs> innovates, that's the word that he used, it's a creative process on the part of the body, invents systems to adapt itself to the stress. So if the stress does not kill you immediately, but at the expense of longevity and vitality. You would die from asphyxiation if you reduced your oxygen intake by 60%. So the body has several mechanisms for cleaning up the sludge. One of them is called cancer, and it's part of your immune system function. And what it does, it absorbs, according to research, 20 times, fa 20 times faster the circulatory protein than does your normal cells. So it helps, it acts like a vacuum cleaner running around your bloodstream, your lymphatics, and sucking up the circulatory protein and getting it into a concentrated little sacs, just like your vacuum cleaner has a sack of dust and dirt it accumulated. Here, the same operation. The cancer cell becomes a little isolated sac, and now the bloodstream is pretty clean, and oxygen transport is on a normalized level so that all your metabolic functions, all your immune functions, digestive functions could be carried on. And the cancer cells, these sacs, are no problem. You can keep on piling up year after year. More of it, eventually, it starts displacing normal biological processes. And it becomes noted, oh my God, you got a, you got a grapefruit, grapefruit size cancer. And it's creating havoc in your colon or it's pressing against your liver. At that point, you have medical intervention. And the medical intervention might be by way of surgery, chemotherapy, or radiation. Dr. Harold Jones, cancer statistics specialist, at University of California, Berkeley School of Medicine. In his research of statistical profiles from medical journals, he states that the average life 
expectancy under traditional therapies is about three and a half years. If you do nothing, mind you, nothing, which is doing a lot, it's, it's having courage to do nothing, your life expectancy is 12 years. Obviously, medical intervention is not the choice that is ideal. And uh, just at Hippocrates, as an example, and similar effects are happening here. If you end up having such thing as a malignancy, and most of you do, it's just that it's not noticeable in volume, by eating a live food program, within a period of two to three weeks, the further proliferation of new cancer cells stops. And then, because of enzymatic environment, it empowers your immune system. Dr. Lescobar, a medical researcher, showed that enzymes internally taken in, orally, by way of capsules, empower the immune system by 1,100%. Macrophages increase by 800%. They become aggressive in cleaning up the inflammatory condition that is generated by the cooked food, the heat-treated proteins, the fats, the starches. And Dr. Chinpo Kim, you can Google him up in the, on the internet, showed 80% recovery from all forms of cancer just by means of orally administered enzymes. At Hippocrates, we have closer to 100%. But this year, we are working with the University of California in a study that will show what is considered a genetically induced a cancer, according to medical community, and it is incurable and untreatable by their procedures, in five months we have complete recovery and of breast cancer stage four, which is going to be a very miraculous release to the alternative community and the world at large. So you can have a much higher success by removing the causes and which is the heat treated food which challenges your oxygen delivery and cancer mechanism becomes operational. It was interesting. Dr. Otto Warburger, another twice Nobel winner, in 1936, he published a paper, The Ultimate Cause of Cancer. And in it he shows that by taking normal reproductive cells in your body, and putting it on a petri dish, a nutritional environment, and closing it off, and start by reducing the oxygen level by as little as 30% within a period of 48 hours, uh, the cells either die just by 30% reduction, mind you, or they migrated, mutated into cancer cells. Now, all of a sudden, we see how that sludge, reducing oxygen, causing mutation into cancer cell production of normal cells transform, which act as vacuum cleaners. Dr. Midler, Dr. LePage, and many other researchers called them protein dump sites, the cancer cells in medical journals. And I quote also in my book, Survival in the 21st Century, that the easiest way to introduce cancer in experimental animals is, guess what? Feed them cooked processed food. That's all. I mean, it says so in medical journals. So they know the story, but there is no escape clause. They think that this is the way life should be.